Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, welcome back to Giga Texas. It's Wednesday, the 26th of July, and a lot of activity going on today, and we get a chance to see some very interesting uh, changes, specifically starting here on the south end. We can see that they're removing the second set of windows now, now on the west side of the south end of the building. This presages what I believe to be another large section of walls that may be removed, and that'll be part of the building extension process. And it's very good to see, very interesting that they're approaching it this way. But uh, clearly from these images, the windows have been removed. You can see inside some of the uh, kind of the metal studs behind the windows that were there and all in preparation to remove those uh, south walls. Also nearby, as you can see by this image, the CFA pile drilling rigs, those large cranes and the very tall drill is getting back into action today. So that's another great sign for the south end. Moving across the highway, taking a look at that west support facility uh, area where we're seeing a lot of the final grade being prepared. In this series of images, what you're seeing is not only preparing the grade for what is most likely going to be the permanent new car staging and transportation lot, but we also can see where in this picture, some of those little mounds in the middle of this dirt area is where telephone poles used to be. In my previous video, I showed you they were getting ready to remove them. Now they have. So another great milestone. Quickly moving up to the Megapack site, most of the activity is either connecting the wiring to the Megapacks that are now in place, all 68 of them, or going up to the north end, you can see Concrete pads have been poured for some more electronic equipment. Crews are working on the steel structure and generally getting ready for that large concrete structure to what I believe get a concrete moat around it and that'll be for the new permanent large transformer that will go in that side of the construction site. And finally, we'll move over to the east side of the battery cathode plant where more work is continuing on those two large structures on the east side with a lot of rebar, a lot more concrete form work, and generally it's taking shape pretty rapidly now considering that they had to redo quite a bit of the work. So these series of images give you a pretty good idea of what that looks like both on the larger uh, section and then on that kind of uh, bowl-shaped section a little farther to the north. One last thing at the battery cathode plant on the west side at the chiller plant, as you can see here, two of those large stainless steel tanks that we've been watching for such a long time have now been installed right next to that section where we're seeing them put all the pipes and heat uh, exchangers and pumps and tanks on that uh, roof section. So I would expect to see the other two move to this section soon. And then just to the south in the alleyway, as you can see by this image, some very large deliveries in these crates being made today. Three semi trucks on these large trailers and they're all moving into that large receiving door on the west side in the alleyway. So as always, a lot of activity all over the site today. We get a chance to see most of it with the drone flight. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you find what we talked about interesting and what you'll see in the video interesting as well. Take care and have a great week. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas. Starting off here on the east side, we're, we're taking a look at this clearing, which is now expanding, and you can tell that uh, trees are being removed in this sort of southeast corner and throughout this region. And this is continuing to get larger because this is the location where 
We've seen and discussed before the permit for the multi-level parking garage and the map that was provided by Tesla to local residents indicates that this is that location. So it looks like continued work here to prepare that grade. And in this section here next to the pond, more work being done to get this all leveled out and dividing the two sections is that green area, which is the outfall channel for the sedimentation basin. But continue to see a lot of progress in this section, which is really great to see. As we get closer to the building, I'll give you a view of the activity and some of the materials and equipment on this east side of the south end of Body and White and also the stamping machine structure. You can also see some trucks carrying away old uh, uh, and uh, unpacked uh, crates. Those are going over to the recycling yard on the east side for breaking down and then taking off site for recycling. As we continue to go towards the south, we can see that the roadway here is continuing to progress uh, towards the north, the medians, and some of the trenching for the conduit. And then here we see more concrete has been poured, more rebar sections. It looks like this entire intersection is going to be all concrete once it is completed. Now, the uh, roadway on the right at the bottom right of the screen, that will go through the tree belt and it will connect all the way around uh, through that tree belt, the Colorado River to the northeast side of the factory. And that'll be the uh, extension of River Road that uh, goes on that side of the factory, in addition to the one that goes north here on the east side. This is a good view of the activity going on in the south end. There's some new trenching on the right-hand side of the screen. We'll come back and get the look at that uh, when we're at lower altitude. Uh, the opening on the south end and the steel work continues and work inside that uh, open area, which is stamping too. And interestingly enough, and we'll get in close and see uh, some good views, they're removing the windows on the south side uh, where the wall panels are currently still there and preparing for that section to be removed, very similar to the other section. As we fly across uh, the river road to the east, you can see the trenching on the ground with the conduit. That'll be for lighting eventually. And uh, as we bring the drone down, the rebar is still here being prepared for the footings. Also those kind of box-like structures in the bottom left, those are to frame in the footing uh, itself with the rebar and the mounts for the concrete and that'll give it that square shape. Here's a closer look at some of the excavation work that is going on here. It looks like they're extending some of the uh, plumbing across where this road is over to where that new concrete intersection is under develop and we discussed earlier. On the east side of Stamping 2, it's a lower altitude view of just some of the materials uh, that remain here and will be eventually moved into sections of the building, particularly Stamping 2 right now for further assembly. As we turn back uh, across the face of this uh, southeast corner and look across the south, we can uh, see quite a bit of different types of activity today. On the right-hand side, we see all the steel being uh, prepared for installation on that uh, small extension. We also see the CFA auger uh, piles, cranes, and the drill getting ready to be used. They've moved uh, these to the south further. And this is great news because this shows what uh, the construction on the south end is now continuing. And that'll be where they put those uh, cages for the footers that we saw earlier. As we fly across this uh, open section, you get a good view of how this looks inside. The lighting is better than it was on my previous video, so I'll give you a close look in. Uh, the middle has got the uh, plastic put back on, so it's hard to see the stamping presses on the right-hand side of the screen, but you can clearly see that bridge crane that's been installed on the uh, West Bay up on the bridge crane rails. That's that large uh, bridge crane we saw being delivered uh, last week. And I think that they're still expecting potentially another bridge crane, and that's why this section still remains open. Now, as I pan the drone to the left, I'll bring you in here, and you can see all of the windows that uh, have been removed. They're on the ground. You can see kind of those uh, steel studs uh, behind where the windows are were located. 
and also this crane with that uh, yellow kind of X structure. It's got suction cups on it. That's what's used to remove the windows. And uh, it looks like there's many more frames. So more of these windows are going to be removed. And here's a close-in view as well. Right on that corner, some more of the windows are also removed. You can also see that the light fixtures on the wall panels have also been removed. Uh, so it indicates that we're going to see all of these concrete panels removed very soon. So this is a, a expansion of this south end wall removal, and it's part of that extension of the building that we talked about. And if you check my 3 January video, you'll see a lot more uh, depth and detail discussion about what is in store and what they've been doing up to this point in time. So check out that video. As we fly over this uh, well section and with these two manhole covers, this is a good view and angle to show you just how high they are above the grade. And again, it's something I'll be monitoring to see how they rectify this with the rest of the construction. This small platform has got a lot of these green wrapped items and some of the white uh, items getting ready to be moved inside and a lot of activity on the second floor here of General Assembly. We can also see more deliveries here to the third floor uh, temporary loading platform and also this steel uh, kind of a pipe segment that they are pulling up. Just as I arrived, there was a truck unloading some uh, long sections of this kind of silver pipe. Those have already been moved in by the time I got the drone here, and this is the last piece. And uh, many of them are this diameter, and I'm not sure exactly what they may be used for. It could be heating and ventilation or some other uh, filtration system, but there was a lot of that going in this part of the building today. As we fly to the north, I'll show you this material staging yard. Uh, looks like there's still cleanup going on. A lot of this seemed to have been excess from when they were doing the assembly line uh, construction. And it looks like they are definitely clearing out this section. A lot of the man lifts and other equipment being stored temporarily on the left-hand side of the screen. Much of the materials have been going in and out this ramp and that large door. And then as we continue to fly further, to the west main entrance, just to the south, there's this other material staging yard. A lot of materials, uh, those kind of pump-like items that we saw on the previous video have already been moved inside, and even more materials have arrived. So the uh, pace of uh, uh, swap out of materials here has been pretty high. The west main entrance, uh, the architectural steel beams and columns is getting more of that uh, stainless steel cladding. And uh, here's a good close-in view of the work uh, that is going on with uh, these uh, workers installing this uh, cladding. You can also see some of the white paint on the edges and sort of white uh, trays on the top. Uh, there's also going to be a lighting effect installed here once they are completed. As we continue to fly further to the north, I'll show you the end of line. It's very busy today. The uh, vehicles will be exiting that door with that ramp. You can also see some of the lights inside for that final inspection. And then they come over to these tents. Sometimes they stop there. Sometimes they just drive through like you'll see with this white Model Y. And then they are relocated over to the east side of the building for supercharging, final checks, and then transportation. As I move the drone around, you can get some views inside that open door and uh, see the uh, end of line crews preparing even more Model Ys to exit and here comes yet another one. This one's going to stop here at the tent and it'll be uh, checked out before, actually I take that back, it'll be continuing to drive over to the east side and that gives you a pretty good idea of the pace of the Model Ys exiting the building. Here's uh, just a different vantage point back at that west main entrance and the work that the crews are doing on that stainless steel cladding. And as I pivot the drone towards the west across the road, you'll see more landscaping is uh, underway in this section next to the graffitied uh, trailer for the Cybertruck. That large tree is uh, getting ready to be planted next to this cyber wall. So let's uh, get ready to cross over the highway and take a look at the activity on the west side today. So I'll pan the drone around to give you a good sense of the activity here on this side of the highway today. A lot of the clearing continues uh, on the uh, grade here. It looks like there's a long, thin, rectangular, possibly 
uh, water detention pond right in the middle and right of the screen. And then here on the left, we see quite a bit of earthwork going on. I'll give you a time lapse here and you can get a good sense of the activity as they are bringing more dirt in. They're spreading it around and raising the grade so that it matches the grade on the right hand side and the top left hand side of the screen. And as we continue to uh, fly the drone up towards the north and uh, reposition to give you a better view of the activity here, one of the things that I want to show you as I uh, bring the drone down and we fly over this uh, cleared section, you see those kind of mounds, one on the uh, uh, right and left of the center. That's where the power poles were as of two days ago. And in my previous video, I show you the uh, electricians that were here to remove those power poles and the power lines so that this section can continue with its construction. And it looks like that work has been completed. Now, people keep asking, what is this section for? As I've mentioned on several previous videos, what I'm being told is that this is the permanent new car staging and transportation lot will be part of the West support facility as per the permit and this will replace the temporary one that's on the east side of the building taking up space on that east parking lot which is needed for employee parking. We're back on the factory side of the central highway and a few things I want to show you some interesting deliveries crates and materials next to this ramp going into that large door. And then as we proceed further to the north, you'll see that the, all of those large deliveries that were made in the last week or so uh, for the 4680 production cell section of the building have all been moved in. You can see that blue SPMT with the open uh, crate and the packing material uh, in the bottom of the screen. You can also see some of the other materials and items that were used to help move that items into the factory. And then here's some additional platform items that are used for uh, the continued assembly of the production uh, lines and uh, uh, some of the platforms for the machinery inside this part of the building. As we wrap around the northwest corner, uh, I'm going to show you again all of this steel that's on the ground here. You can also see um, some activity moving some of that, or at least preparing to move it into that large door next to that worker with the uh, yellow vest. And what they're doing is more construction inside this portion of the building, building out additional production capability for the 4680s. As we fly across the north end of the building, we can see some uh, trailers bringing in new parts and uh, materials getting ready to be unloaded. And then on the northeast side, we can see the rack mounts for all the castings uh, continue to have a lot of activity here. The forklifts picking them up and either repositioning them here or moving them down to the body in white for production. On this side of casting, the conduit uh, continues to be installed, almost finished on the left-hand side of the screen. You see all the castings in the racks, that elite uh, refractory services, building in machinery inside this part of the factory and generally a lot of activity. Uh, going up over to the roof, flying over that uh, wall section, I'm just trying to show you that uh, the activity here is kind of slowed with installing these mounts and the vent bases on the roof section. Uh, so instead, we'll just bring the drone down. I'll show you this uh, another section of the parking lot with the rack mounts for the castings. Also, these open manhole covers as we look in. This is where the conduit is existing that goes to the factory all the way up to the mega pack and the new permanent electrical switch yard. And crews have been busy installing the wiring that will connect the building with those sites. As we fly over Tesla Road, we'll approach the Megapack site where there's a lot of interesting activity today. As we know, all 68 of the mega packs have been installed, all 34 of the transformers. On the right hand side, it looks like there's some trenching, possibly poured with concrete with that silver material to help with the curing. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but that is a definite change in the last 48 hours. On this side, what we see is uh, crews busy installing a lot of the wiring into these 
transformer cabinets and then connecting them over towards the mega packs. As we fly a little to farther towards the north, you can see a lot of the wiring that is being installed up to this point all along this portion of the mega pack. So the crews are working very quickly in getting the wiring installed. Now that is just one of several major things that need to be completed before the mega pack system can be tested and commissioned. One of which is this steel structure and a lot of the electronic components. Now you see those V-type circuit breakers on the left, some other electronic equipment that's been delivered. Uh, that's waiting for installation. Crews are working on the steel structure. We can also see on the right hand side of the screen four small of uh, the formed areas with concrete. We also see these two. The larger of the two is for a transformer. It's waiting for kind of a, a base of concrete with a moat to be put in there before they can install that transformer. And then the other one is for, I believe, the circuit breakers. As we fly back over, this gives you a good view down of how this section looks and the work that the uh, crews are doing right now to configure this whole section. And uh, the conduit on the left-hand side of the screen that extends under the uh, power lines, it kind of branches into several different uh, uh, conduit branches, as you can see. And then this will connect over to the south end vault that's being constructed at the south end of the uh, new permanent electrical switchyard. So as I fly up over the power lines, I'll give you a good view of this conduit, the Megapack site where the electronic uh, steel structure is uh, being worked that we talked about, and then how that conduit is progressing over here to this underground concrete vault that is uh, continued to be under construction. Now, what we see here is that more concrete has been poured. Most of the walls now for this structure have been completed. And next, the crews will be working to put the sort of the roof section on. They'll be putting a rebar and forms. We can also see that temporary retaining wall it continues to be removed on that left-hand side. And then the rest of it will be removed soon since this concrete has been poured and the wall structures exist. Uh, but a lot of activity here. Uh, it's moving along pretty quickly, and this is necessary to be completed so they can get all the uh, conduit and the electric uh, uh, connections made so that both the new permanent electrical switch yard and the Megapack site can be operational. I'll stop here next to this Finston section, which has a lot of the valves for the underground gas pipe. Nearby, we see more of the trench work, that uh, black pipe coming out of the, the ground on the uh, left to the center. That's that black HDPE treated water pipe. It looks like crews are continuing to do work here in the trenches to install more of that and then connect it all the way over to the battery cathode and die shop uh, complexes of buildings. And it follows just to the north of the Tesla Road over to those complexes. Here at the old house uh, uh, site, uh, as we know, the house is gone. All of the rest of the old parts of that uh, complex are gone. Now it looks like trucks are being uh, stored here temporarily. And I'm going to take a quick diversion here as I notice these very large deliveries I'll give you a close-in look at uh, one of these uh, trucks. Try to see if we can uh, maybe read the labels. It's very, very difficult. But these items, these three large crates that we see, one here and then two off to the left, are destined for the die shop. And we'll see them later in the video uh, being maneuvered into the die shop in that alleyway uh, next to the battery cathode plant. But it was very interesting to see these deliveries. Uh, you'll see the other two large items uh, just coming in on the left-hand side of the screen. And the truck will be doing a turnaround and headed over that way. At the time I did the video I, uh, here, I wasn't sure where they were going. Uh, so I thought I would try to follow them along and uh, see where they end up. And uh, at least for right now, you can tell that they are starting to progress to the north and then they will... Uh, head over to the die shop and we'll see them a little later in the video. I'll stop here briefly to give you an idea of what the TKS paint system uh,
a section looks like a big delivery going on right now at the bottom of the screen a lot of the items wrapped in the white plastic and you see another part of the large dip tank uh, that arrived two days ago being stored here waiting for movement inside of the uh, factory and also we can tell that this entire section has now been configured as a overflow parking lot and a lot of the employee cars parking here and now because the uh, number of employees have increased and also the change from the day night and swing shift to just day and night shift as we pivot around I will give you a good view here of the east side of the battery cathode plant and we'll start next to these uh, wrapped uh, tanks or containers just to give you an idea of the conduit work that is uh, progressing most of the trenches have been filled in some more of those red items and some of the white uh, platform items on the left these sort of uh, semi-circular mounts on the bottom left of the screen for those uh, tanks and then the activity here on this structure with the crews uh, working on top of that yellow moisture barrier installing a lot of the rebar many sections of concrete now been poured down the middle we can see what looks to be possibly drains that extend the length of this structure uh, the plastic covered here is to help with the curing and then another section has been poured in the middle of the screen we see this large hoop and other items um, i had a viewer desi Doolin, asked me to get a close look at that i think that may be part of a rounded top tent but uh, i'm not really sure uh, if you know let me know in the comment section but it's very interesting to see that here as well Looking back at that foundation, you can see again that plastic wrapped part, which is curing, and then the just finished poured section now. As we continue to go to the north, this is that sort of bowl-shaped uh, concrete structure. Uh, again, more forms for the walls on the north and south. Uh, also see the rebar that uh, will extend the walls along the higher length. The concrete on the ground level has been poured. The two drain and work on the left-hand side just out side of the walls continues also looks like there's an extension now to north with more form work so uh, it would be interesting to see what that turns out to be next to the cell test lab we see work with that underground steel corrugated pipe for the water management system progressing and then big news today here on the northeast side you'll know Note that there's only two of these stainless steel tanks two of them have been moved and they're being installed over by the chiller system on the west side of the battery cathode plant and i'll give you some really good views of that uh, a little later in the video but uh, this is the first time in probably over a year and a half that those tanks despite being moved from the west side to the southeast side to this side now they're starting to be installed and it's great to be able to see where they are going on the north end of the building, we can see that formwork for that concrete apron for those five receiving docks and then in between those two kind of retaining walls. And that progress continues. On the west side, uh, more of the uh, work to fill in the trenches for that uh, pipe that has extended from the alley all the way up to this north end here. And then more of the steel corrugated pipe for the water management system waiting for installation. Looks like there's still some water standing in the middle section here, but they've been doing a lot of work to try to drain that out. As we continue towards the chiller system, uh, there's a lot to see and a lot of the details. So I'll bring the drone down in low and uh, give you an idea of what this looks like. Work on the ground level continues. Uh, looks like there's some temporary pumps, temporary uh, pipes, and then permanent pipes and permanent items being installed on the ground floor as well. Uh, work continues on to this uh, roof section with some of those heat exchangers, pipes, pumps, and tanks. And then here are those two uh, large stainless steel tanks that we talked about. And they've been installed on those two concrete platforms we saw being constructed in my previous video. There's room there for the other two, so I would expect to see those uh, installed next to the two that are currently there. And you can see down the alleyway those trucks with those large crates have arrived and they will start to unload into the die shop on that side this apron here with those two grooves those are the rails for the gantry crane and still not a lot of changes although the crews are working on putting those insulation strips between the concrete panels it looks like more work to widen this 
this berm on this side of the building continues and that's probably just to help with the access and traffic flow uh, on that side of the building. As we fly back over the TKS paint system and this employee parking lot, just take a look at how many cars have uh, arrived since we just flew over that a little earlier in the video. And that gives you a reason, an indication of why and the reason for them to make this expansion lot. The new car staging and transportation lot is very busy with a lot of Model Ys, a lot of trucks picking up the vehicles to move off site. And then the testing and calibration is also very busy. Uh, you can see this white tent with more vehicles coming through here. Final checks before they move over to that uh, new car staging and transportation lot. Next to the east uh, secondary entrance, uh, that uh, glass kind of V-shaped section. See those uh, mobile superchargers are still there. Uh, we also see a lot more of the castings along this entire section of the building. The concrete section here that was removed looks like the plumbing is getting close to being finished, so hopefully soon we'll see the concrete poured and those last two receiving doors completed. And then it also looks like at the middle of the screen, some more of these uh, stairs are being constructed right now, and that allows the employees to walk across the street and then into the building. This section where the conduit uh, extends over into the building has had all the concrete replaced. It's been saw cut and it looks like uh, final preparations for even more concrete. And then along this uh, widened apron next to the berm, uh, you can see the current status of the conduit installation. It looks like almost all of the underground part has been finished, the concrete vaults, and it's uh, getting close to having a completed look. So that's a very quick look across a lot of the site today. As we look across the main building, we can see that West Support Facility where we got a lot of those good views uh, and seeing the work that's being done with that earthwork. As always, thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care.